You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and Butch and I are now ever evolving, expanding, growing, adding to our God Gross playlist. God Gross? Yes. Mm -hmm. We've done eight videos. This is nine. That's 27 experiments. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Now, remember, we determined that the 50 is not actually 50 different experiments. Right. It's variations. It was variations mm -hmm. on the experiments we already did. So we're, we're going to end up in maybe two more videos or one more video. Maybe. But either way, it's been a fun pilgrimage we've had a good pilgrimage. that's a good way to put it up yes yeah. dave it's been a journey a journey a scientific exploration yeah mm -hmm. and last week we had some failures i okay. mean last video not yes. last week yes we did the crystal one that, that was the first one that was a real fail real fail mm -hmm. all right but either way we're gonna have fun we are now going to go over the next three experiments come back with number one and continue on our pilgrimage and you know what happens sometimes with those failures then What's one that? of them's Awesome, because the barf one. Yeah, that was pretty that cool. That was awesome. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I hid that somewhere in the house and uh, tried to get some people, but oh. I'll talk about that in the description. Uh -huh. All right, Butch, we are on the next three experiments. Yes. Electric sludge. Which is a dance I do every once in a while. Bloated beans. Mm -hmm. so That's right in time makes me dance. And the naked egg. We won't and talk about well, that. I'll leave that out. Mm -hmm. All right, so electric sludge. What are we going to learn today? Huh. Jumping electrons. To see the attraction in action, you can also hold the charge balloon near a small pile of dry cornstarch powder. Some of the powder will jump onto the balloon. Now, that would be considered an experiment. See what we were saying? That's a bonus experiment. So, mm -hmm. static electricity. When you rub the balloon on your hair, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. it pulls electrons from the hair. Fur. The extra electrons give the balloon surface a negative electric charge. This static charge attracts the microscopic cornstarch particles in the sludge, huh. pulling the stream toward the balloon. Whoa. It also causes the particles to pack together closely, thickening the sludge. Are you kidding me? Is that really going to happen here today? I have no idea. It sounds like a scientific miracle. I really don't know. Let's start reading those directions, and I will move everything over well, here. Yes, Dave. Yes, First sir. on the list, we're talking about there? stopping slime in its tracks with static electricity. Okay. Number one, pour the vegetable oil okay, how into the biohazard container. This is the bio vegetable yes. oil. How much? We have vegetable oil. We need three tablespoons. Three tablette spoons. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking like that? I'm not so sure. You usually do, so you draw me in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three okay. tablespoons. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, that's going to be messy. There's one. one. Nice job. Okay. And... Oh. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And three. Nicely done. Okay. All well, right. When do I get to blow up the balloon? I want to blow up the balloon. Yeah. Okay. Be patient. Okay. Right. Right. What color? Okay. An impatient scientist is a uh, okay. impatient I'll scientist. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. While All right. Second phase. Yes. Stir in the cornstarch one tablespoon at a time until you get a sludge-like paste. Okay. We're looking at four tablespoons total if you need. Four tablespoons. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a lot of tablespoons of cornstarch. Well, I got it here. So now you did cornstarch, not corn syrup, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, Scorch, mm -hmm. storch, storch, corn storch. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we go. And I got to stir. All right. Repeat One that again. Time. I'm already confused. So stir in the cornstarch. When do I blow up the balloon? An impatient scientist. Well, it says rub the inflated balloon on your hair. I mm -hmm. think I should have done that already. What? I want to be ready. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna do. It doesn't say that. Green. I know, but the picture. I think this is where it shows the balloon already blown up. Okay, I'll allow it. All right, here we go. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh boy. Last time he passed out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow. boy. Beautiful. Wow. A little larger than the balloon in the picture. You think it's too large? Just a bit. I think it's, well, yeah, well, look at the picture. It's uh -huh. tiny. Tiny. All right, so let's uh, put that one here. All right, back to the, back to the old okay. cornstarch. Right, go ahead. Back to the old cornstarch. One tablespoon at a time until you get a sludge-like paste. Okay. Careful. I'm going to be so careful. It's not even funny how careful I'm going to be. You're not oh, even yeah. laughing. Oh, yeah. Is that careful? Stir that up. Working it. So you got more outside of the cup than inside that time. But well, not we'll really. I mean, a little bit there. Mm -hmm. I'm being harsh on you today, LPS Dave. I'm I know. Sorry. What did I do wrong? Sometimes you have to be a harsh teacher in order to teach you the right, you know, to be a perfectionist. Okay. My wormy says that looks good. Mm -hmm. Try another one. Okay. 
Not the best container for getting cornstarch out, is it? No. Okay, number two. Number two. Sludge-like consistency. Stir away. Mm-hmm. Do 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 I wondered at the beginning of all these experiments if they would have enough gear in there to do all these experiments. And we're we're right on it. Right on it. Turns out though that you need more of your own gear than the gear they provide. It seems like you have to provide a lot of your own stuff. Number three. Okay. Let me tell you how many times I've gone to the store to find the things I need. Uh -huh. Remember that one with the alum? Alum. Yes. That failure. Which ended up not working. We yes. must have bought some bum alum, huh? Very possible. You think there's such a thing as bum alum? I think so. Now I think so. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now rub the balloon. Hmm. That was only three. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it, unless it's sludgy. I don't know if it's sludgy, it's mm -hmm. liquidy. Mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah, I'm going to go all in at this point. We can't have another failure. No failure allowed. As you're doing that, what we're going to do next, you're going to rub the inflated balloon uh -huh. on your pet's That's fur. Your pet's fur. The okay. carpet or a wool sock to build up good static okay. charge. I didn't bring a sock. I don't know. Is that a little sludgier now? Almost. What do you think a little more? Slowly drizzle the sludge from the biohazard container into the gross garbage can. Oh, this is going to oh, be complicated. I got to bring in a hands. second can here. Mm -hmm. Kick the can. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to pour this near the balloon into that. Correct. You think it's sludgy enough? As you pour it, you move the balloon closer, but not touching the drizzle of the sludge Whew. and see what happens. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I need to change the camera because it's at a totally wrong angle. Uh -huh. I've got corn starts all over uh -huh. me. I'm going to come back with Butch, and we are now going to perform the experiment. I wish I could help, but I need to be <laughs> oh, oh, boy. He's gone mad. It's alive! He's it's gone alive! Mad. Okay, Butch, much better camera angle. Let me give this a quick mix here now i brought in a nice blanket to kind of that's what we're gonna get our charge from yes we're gonna mm -hmm. use that we're not does gonna look sludgy it does mm -hmm. we're not gonna use our own heads for this mm -hmm. and then i will take I don't it think here it said fur i think it said hair so i wouldn't work anyway well you know doing it on a carpet is probably gonna pick up everything but uh you know everything imaginable yes mm-hmm Dust mites. Whoa. Dust mites. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? We got dust mites at the Lucky Penny Shop? Fleas. Chef? Fleas? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I feel like it's statically charged. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I pour this, oh, and boy. then as I'm pouring, oh, boy. I move that in, right? Let's see if it okay, stops the flow see. without touching it. Stops the flow or just directs it? Well, we'll see. Ooh, I did see a little lump there, but oh, uh -oh. oh I hit it. Wipe it. I don't know if it's me moving it or what. Mm. I'm not seeing anything. Mm. Huh. I think the best way to stop it is just jam the balloon inside. <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting anything. No. Okay, so that static didn't work, huh? I wonder oh. what else we could use. Let me, get, let me do it on my head. Uh-huh, good idea. Oh, my. Oh, Usually boy. that's oh, enough to yes. stick a balloon right to the ceiling. Your hair is standing it? straight up on it. Is. <laughs> Let's see. Pour and push in. I, I, I guess it's kind of doing something now. Yeah. Huh. It's, it is. Interesting. It's hard to see. We'll have to review the tape, but it almost feels like it's... Yeah, it did. See that? Mmm. It stopped it. It did. Huh. Wow. Not super exciting, but it did something. It did something. All right, well, we have to move on now. Let's go to experiment number two. Number two. All right, Butch, we are back. Soda and beans. You can't beat that, right? Sounds like a party, LPS Day. It does sound like a party. All right, mm -hmm. so what do we need here? What do we have? What do we need? What do we got to get? Where's uh, the biohazard cup, LPS Day? Oh, it's still messy with the last experiment. Can we just mm. uh, use my glass? Is that okay? This one That's... might work better in a clear cup. I think so. Mm -hmm. Why would you want it in something you can't see through? Good point. So this is all about... 
Beyonce. Do you know who Beyonce is? I don't think I mean buoyancy, that. sorry. That's better. Okay. Uh -huh. A carbonated drink is made by putting the beverage into a bottle or can under high pressure with carbon dioxide gas. The high pressure causes the gas to dissolve in liquid. When the can or bottle is open, the pressure is released and the gas escapes. That sounds... You hear from an over fresh soda. When you take a sip of soda, you know it's the tickle to the carbon dioxide. Take a breath. Nervous. <sighs> wow. Can I do the next one? Uh, no. Beans mm -hmm. are heavier than water. I think everybody realized that anyway, uh, so I read. Beans are heavier than water, so they sink to the bottom at first. But as the carbon dioxide bubbles rise to the surface, some of them stick to the beans. Huh. This gives the beans buoyancy, the ability to float, and they rise to the surface with bubbles. When wow. the lubbles, oh, missing the part at the top of the B. Lubbles works. Reach the surface, they pop. The beans lose their buoyancy and fall back to the bottom. The rising and sinking no. the beans will continue no. until most of the gas has escaped. The new bubbles rescue them, LPS, Dave. It does? Yes, they go up and down. And well, it does say now, unopened, cold bottle, or can of carbonated water, or soda. So mm -hmm. that's why we got soda. Sprite works the best. We got uh, the brand for... Generic. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Summit. All right, what do I do? Chop that bag open. Pour the whole thing in there. Dump the whole thing in there. Come on, give me the instructions, my friend. I... We need to, number one, pour one quarter cup of fresh carbonated water or soda into the biohazard okay, container. quarter cup. Substituted by... Listen, this is what they were saying earlier. The release of the gases. Ah, uh, yes. And look at the fizzy bubbles. One of my favorite things. Okay, quarter cup. Mm hmm Wow. I'm just going to go half onto this. I guess so, it, huh? Well, you know, we're experimenting now. There we go. All That's right. probably a half a cup. But nice. We want to be able to see you there. Next up, we drop the navy beans into the fizzy water. They the whole bag? Five. Five. Okay. And then the favorite part, wait and watch what happens. Okay, here we go. One. One. See how it sinks. Two. Mm-hmm. Three. Four. Five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we watch. Let me get the camera zoomed in there. And we will see if Wonder anything what's happens. Gonna happen. I don't know. I see the beans, and they have bubbles all over them. I see bubbles. Oh, 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 come on. He's coming. Uh -huh. I see him, the front one. Break loose. Come on, buddy. Oh. There we go. It's like Back a little down. lava. He went right up and right down. They take a breath. And there down he goes. Go. Take a breath. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, okay. There's That's another bonus really experiment. Cool. It says try this. Try this experiment in a tall, narrow glass. Wow. Fill the glass with carbonated water and experiment using raisins, macaroni, and other types of beans. Hmm. Hmm. Lentil beans? Really? Yeah. Green beans? Garbanzo beans. Peas? Peas. Are peas beans? Pea pods have beans in them? No. They're hmm. peas. Are peas beans? Are they legumes? I guess. Hmm. Well, that worked. That worked. Not as exciting as I thought. I was thinking there would be music in the background and they'd be dancing inside there yeah. in the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little ballerina dancing, mm -hmm. spinning, beans. Wow. Ballerina. They don't seem too bloated. No. Mm -hmm. But we got something out of it. So they we, moved. We have to move on. Yes. Let's go on to the last experiment. All right, Butch, we are set. Next experimentio. The naked egg. The naked egg. Uh -huh. Chemical reactions in osmosis. I... I think that might be osmosis. Osmosis. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. I just like to I have know fun. Fun know. with words, everybody. It's mm -hmm. okay. It's okay. The calcium carbonate in the eggshell reacts with the acid in the vinegar to form carbon dioxide gas. The bubbles on the outside of the egg. The chemical reaction also dissolves the shell. What? With the hard shell gone, only the egg's rubbery membrane is left. Weird. The egg got bigger because water molecules in the vinegar moved through the membrane into the egg white. The process is called osmosis. Wow. Osmosis. Osmosis. Okay, so tell me what to do here. Now, I am all set. Well, do you got some vinegar? I do. You got an egg? Yes. And do you have the garbage can? Yes. Okay, check, check, check. First thing you want to do is carefully place the raw egg oh, in the gross okay. garbage can okay. and completely cover the egg with vinegar. Now, that's a real egg. A real egg. Uncooked. Uncooked. Not hard-boiled. Raw. Raw egg. As raw. Put the lid on the can and place it in the refrigerator. Leave it there for 24 hours. 24 hours. So I'll see you tomorrow. No, come on back, Butch. I will tell you what I did. I started what? this experiment a few days ago. What? 
So we will come right back, everybody. I'm going to bring in the eggs that I've had for two days, oh one day, gosh. and then we can check them out. It's like one of those cooking shows. It's just where they like they pull a it out of the show. oven and it's all done and they just put it in. Kind of like that. Huh. Except someone's got to do the work. All right, Butch. Part of experimenting is planning. Yeah, I thought you said playing. No. Well, planning. you could play, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thought, well, I better start this. I knew you were coming, so I better mm -hmm. start this in advance. So I had some old jars. Hmm. Right? So the one we just did is in here. It's doing well. This was a white egg I started yesterday. Yes. And this was a brown egg I started two days ago. Huh. All right. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Huh. What's huh? Huh. I'm shocked. Yeah. So the shell or the coloring is almost all gone off of this one here. So let me get this out. I will put it in my little tray here. Wow. And I do want to rinse it a little bit in the water. I brought some water. Okay, so ooh, look at that. It's so soft. Let me dump some of this out here. And we're gonna plop this egg in here. Careful. Ooh wow. Let me get some of that water out. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it started like this, Dumb. and now it's as soft, Whoa. look at this, it's soft and it's rubbery. rubbery. Look at that. The shell is totally gone. Uh, maybe one little spot there, I felt it. It but says now, be careful, because yeah, it's I'm, still a raw egg inside. Yeah, and being, and being I can't as imagine. careful as I can, let me grab a paper uh -huh. towel here. I'm also making a mess. Yes. It says to try to drop it. Try, I just From did. about an inch up. Does it bounce? Oh, it nice. does. All right, that's pretty cool. So this is an experiment everybody could do. Now, uh -huh. you don't want to eat this egg, I don't think. That probably wouldn't taste very good. Okay, so the next one now has just been a day. That's this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there will be a difference. Let me dump some of, the, some of that out. Mm -hmm. And then let me get my little bowl here. And we'll dump it in. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's gigantic compared to a regular egg. It's it's grown up just slightly. Uh -huh. We'll have to compare it to the one that we just started. But look. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, there's no shell. You can't bounce an egg like that, LPS Dave. No. So this is the one we started. Well, I'll just show you this one. We'll let that one. Regular egg. That's what that is. Now it's all rubbery. This one here, all rubbery. Look at that. Wow. Should we cut it open? Whoa. <laughs> Careful. I don't know about that. I should. We should. We'll just do it right here in the plate. Uh -huh. We'll chop it with a little should scissors. Should I stand back? Do we need safety no, glasses? No, don't stand back. Let's just see. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Spurt. Disgusting. Look, see how squishy that is? Mm -hmm. That was a hard shell just a day. Oh. Whoa. Just a day ago. Now this one? Look at Not that. Not going to happen. Well, there you go. All right, let's come back then. That worked out pretty good. Pretty gross. And we will uh, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. All right, Butch, as we always do, we like to take a little vote C on what the uh -huh. best C of the experiment uh -huh. C's uh -huh. are. I think this one's going to be pretty obvious. So nearest to you is the electric sludge. Mm -hmm. It worked. It worked. It did work. Mm -hmm. Then the bloated beans. I mean, we had a couple beans couple jump beans. around, but mm -hmm. uh, they seem to be pretty relaxed. Mm -hmm. And then the last one was the naked egg. What do you think about the naked egg? The naked egg was uh, quite telling. It was freaky. And I know. Cool. Look at that. This shell is now soft mm -hmm. and rubbery. Even on the brown egg. Look at that. So cool. After day one on the brown egg, all the brown just came right off. Go on. All right. So I guess we know which one was our favorite experiment. Yes. So let us know which is yours. Take the poll. Is there a none of the above option by chance? <sighs> no, I don't do that. Okay. They have to pick. Mm -hmm. Or just don't vote. Mm -hmm. How's that? Mm -hmm. So take that poll, let us know. Now there are three more experiments in the book. So that wraps up the mm. whole entire book. How about that? And thanks for watching, everybody. We do appreciate your support of the channel. Later. Bye-bye, everybody. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.